I was going to do the turret, that, and this all at once here. This is just it homing the scene so it gets its reference points. Okay, so this is the machine startup. Just going through all the parameters. Simple machine turning on. Okay, so turn the emergency stop off. You have to enable all the access drives. Reset. Home the axis. just so the machine will get its uh, reference position. So this is the program I want to use, so I'm going to say yes, load that into the machine. So the first step is to load the tool. So I'm going to tool chain, load the magazine. Now the carousel has to go to its home position. Okay, now the next step is to load up the program. Go into your run file. Uh, hit auto. And start. Spindle will kick on. Set to drill 20 holes at 80 inches a minute, going at 40 
7,500 RPM. The max thermal speed is 7,500. Then at the end of the program, it goes back to its convenient starting location. All you have to do is hit reset. And then simple as that, it starts again. Press the green button. Okay, so first things first, you got to enable your drive. So 7 here, you'll see right there, corresponds to the keypad. So 7 to enable your drives. You'll still have an alarm, so you need to hit your escape button, which is the same as a uh, reset button on a uh, Fanuc uh, controller. So, second step is to home your, home your axis, so 8 as corresponding to up here, and then just hit any key to continue. So after you home your axes, this page will come up, and this will be the last program that was loaded into your machine. So it just says load program file, the file name, um, overwrite existing program, which so basically just means load in. So hit Y for yes. So now you're in this screen. Um, so before you run a program, you're going to want to go hit zero to go back to this menu, and then hit tool change. So, one to load the magazine, and then you press two to home the magazine. And the carousel will spin around, it will find its, uh, find its home position. And then zero again to get back to your basic menu. So down here, all your uh, function keys, uh, so these correspond to the, your F keys up here. Uh, you have edit, load, uh, quill up, coolant, edit, preview. So the preview will give you a just a 3D model of your toolpath. So when you write a program, it will... So you'll see here, I hit F2 for run, and then this is the program that was in the machine. So it's just drilling all these holes, and then the dotted lines are your rapid positions. These just, it just shows you where it is corresponding to your grid, basically. So escape to exit. Uh, at your F2 here is for spin the law, F3 is for setup. So in setup here, you can set your tool length offsets with 7. Um, these are kind of irrelevant. These are kind of irrelevant. You got 3 down here for jog. So you can click 7, 4, or 1 to jog these axes. So for instance, 7. Now I can use these buttons to go up and down. And then 0 to exit the jog menu. So one is your work shift value, so for instance I can click that, uh, I can click between G54 and G59, I'll just hit enter, and then I can put my values in here. So let's say I want to put zero in for each, zero, enter, zero, enter, zero, enter. And now that changes my position. So now this is my work shift value for whatever program. So I can also use 2 to go directly to a position. So move to XYZ, I will type in a coordinate up here, and then it will go to whatever coordinate that is in relation to the work offset that you just put in. So let's say I put in X2, Y2, Z2, rather than going to the machine position, it will now go 
X2 positive, Y2 positive, Z positive. So it'll only move two inches in each direction rather than getting to that one position. So for to run the program, you're going to want to click F4 and then F5 to reset. It's better safe than sorry. Or sorry, 5, not F5. And then enter. Then you have one down here for auto. Click one, and then the green button to start. If it doesn't work the first time, press it again. Also in, uh, in your run file, you have MDI down here. So in MDI, you can do basic commands like turn on the spindle. So if you want to type something in, you got to press the asterisk, asterisk key, which is just by holding shift and eight, and then this screen will pop up. So if I want to turn on the spindle, I go S1000 and three, and then enter. And now the spindle turns on. I want to stop the spindle. Same thing, asterisk, and five. Enter. Spindle shuts down. So, F2 to exit. You can read and write files in here by searching up previous programs. But we're just going to go to exit. Do I want to save? No. So we'll get back and exit the run menu by pressing zero. And then if I wanted to load a program, you'll see down here it says load for F7, so I'll click F7. And here are all the programs that are in the machine. So you just use the simple cursor keys to arrow down to which one you want. So if I want to test 01, I'd scroll down to that, hit enter. This loads the program into the machine. I hit yes to continue, and if I want to edit that program, I go to F6, pick which program, so the same one, so I just hit enter, and now I'm free to edit the program as need be. So once you're finished your editing process, what you have to do is hit F4 for write. Um, write mark text to file, so 2 to append to old file. So th this just means it won't save the program to this, it won't save your changes to the program unless you hit write, or else it'll just delete it. So two to append to the new file, or old file. Enter, you gotta make sure the name's the same. There, now you can hit F2 for exit. Yes to save. So now, if I wanted to load up that program again, I just go F7, enter, Y, and done. Now I'm ready to hit run again. Uh, one for auto, and then start. And then this is your simple stop key, emergency stop. Uh, this is your feed override switches down here. So counterclockwise, turn it off clockwise to turn it up, this is your spindle override, clockwise to turn it up higher, counterclockwise to turn it down. You can use these while the program's running. And that's pretty much it. Shut down the machine, just merge to stop, turn the switch. All right.